this is Maggie Lindsay and in this tutorial we are going to look at some more advanced advanced features in GoAnimate. Uh, we have learned how to put a backdrop uh, in a scene. We have learned how to put characters in a scene. We gave them movement. We gave them expressions, speech bubbles, and audio, and we also added some props up until this point. Um, so let's uh, add a few scenes here. Um, let's say this conversation is over and we fast forward and they meet again. But this time they're going to meet in a different place. Uh, so we're going to change the backdrop here from the playground to, let's say, the bus stop. Okay, uh, let's get rid of our prop here. This one is a little hard to get rid of, so she can still hold that. Um, and arrange them by clicking and dragging. So here they are, uh, looking at each other. And let's add another scene, fast forward again to a different place. And let's see what we can find. Uh, maybe um, they could meet at the school entrance. They're both going to school here. Let's click and drag and put them um, right here. Okay, so we have uh, four different scenes um, with uh, three different backdrops. Uh, let's take at some of our other features here. Uh, we have not talked about the music feature yet. Let's talk about the music feature. Click on the music uh, tab up on top of here. And uh, you have a whole bunch of different things that you can add. You can add music, and from ambient to fairy tale to disco to happy go lucky. Uh, you can just add a track here. Um, let's do a light groove. Let's add that. But you know what? I'm gonna go to my scene one and add it there. Um, because I want this to be the backdrop for all of it and here we get a little hint um, that it is now added to my timeline okay so and it's playing at this point and it's actually rather loud okay so here uh, it is added on the timeline and as long as you see it you know it's playing Okay, now we can change the duration of our sound uh, for all scenes. Okay, we can also change the volume. This was really loud. I just want it to be a little bit of a background in the as uh, the scenes playing. Uh, we can play the sound at a certain interval, or we pl can play it right away. Um, Let's take a look what else we can do. We can do effects, special effects, birds, dog. Uh, so we can have birds chirping in the background or somebody laughing or somebody saying ooh la la or rooster. Uh, we can have uh, voiceovers. Uh, that is not an option for us right now. And we can have tribe of noise. Um, and you can just click on that and see if you like any of those. So those are our um, audio options, music, background. Um, let's go to special effects. Special effects let you do certain things with each scene. So we could um, say curtain up. Ah, uh, this opens up the curtain. So this would be great for a first slide. Uh, we could um, add to our last slide maybe a square out or a square in. Okay, square in is probably better. So let's go to the FX here. Um, we want to do square in. Square out didn't work so well. So we're just going to go ahead and delete that, okay? But we still have a square in, okay? Show. All right, good. 
So those were our special effects now. Um, so we're done with all of the tabs up here. We've seen all of those. Uh, this is just stuff that you just play with as you have time. Um, but now a nice feature is also to add um, things for each scene. Okay. So as we are fast forwarding from this scene to this scene, uh, we might not just want to fast forward without any any transition. So let's put a transition here. You click on the scene settings and now we're going to pick a transition and here it is. Uh, and we're going to leave everything else uh, just standard. Uh, if my characters weren't talking, I could also add a narration to that one scene. So it could be that your characters are uh, not talking um, and you just want to have some explanations of narration in the background. Uh, okay, and we're going to do the same thing with this one. And we already see that on this transition from previous scene and this one transition from previous scene. Let's just do the blinds here. Okay, so we are done now and now we're going to go preview and see what it looks like. It's going to take a little while. Curtain open. Okay, so this obviously has still uh, a lot of room for editing, so we are going to go back to editing and we're going to fine tune it. Um, but you got uh, everything that you can do is is in there at this point uh, so now it's just a matter of playing around and this was it um, for our advanced features stay tuned for saving and uploading and embedding